Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Honey brown corset. Hmm. Mineral spring. Uh, Diabolo. Diabolo. What is that? I know what Diablo is, but not Diabolo. Um, hmm. Diabolical? Like, can you, is it things you can add coal to the end? Oh, that would be L, would that be L-I? Okay, I don't think it's that. Let's look for something a little bit more straightforward. Uh, boo-boo, like, um, you made a mistake or you've been hurt in a minor way. Um, maybe a fall would go with boo-boo, a trip. And a slip. I don't know if boo-boo would go with those, or a spill, or slip, fall, and trip definitely feel extremely similar. The question is, do we put boo-boo in there or spill in there? I'm thinking spill is probably more appropriate, so let's try that. Yeah, it was. Take a tumble. Okay, so boo-boo goes with something else. We've got an hourglass and a corset. Those feel similar. They're similar shapes, right? Um, I don't know if that, okay, we've got corset and teddy as well. I don't know. Uh, lingerie. I don't see any other like lingerie words unless Diabolo is some form of lingerie. Um, we've got brown, brown, what brown bear, brown bear, teddy bear, honey bear, honey bear, like the, um, you would might call your significant other honey bear. So this is a fill in the blank. Uh, Boo Boo Bear. Boo, isn't Boo Boo a bear from um? What's what's that cartoon called? Uh, Picnic Basket one. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm it'll probably come to me later. It's just one of those things where you blank on a word. I'm sure I'm gonna get fifteen thousand comments telling me what it is, but I really appreciate the interaction anyway, so that's fine. Um, I still of course had an hourglass here. What else do we have here? Wasp is interesting. Spring and mineral? Still? Okay, still water, mineral water, spring water, and tap water. There we go. Kinds of water. Now, wasp, hourglass, diabolo, and corset. Um, unconnected words. <laughs> I don't know. Because I felt like hourglass and corset were similar shapes, but I don't think a wasp has a shape like that. Um, yeah, I have no idea. All right, well, let's find out. Things that are cinched in the middle? I'm going to look up what a diabolo is. Okay, so a diab diabolo, I guess is how it's pronounced, is the, the thing with two, two handles and a, and a string. And it, it does look like an hourglass. It's, it's like, it's like a, two cones stuck together like that, and then the string's in the middle, and you kind of keep it, keep it in the air with your two strings going up and down. That's apparently what that is. Um, I don't know why a wasp would be considered cinched in the middle. Anyway, that's, I don't think, I mean, I, I got the category. I just didn't know that Diablos and, I pronounced it wrong again, anyway, and wasps were that shape. Anyway, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Sunday, March 31st, 2024. Let's go. What electric vehicles do without gas? With five and six o'clocks, storybook beginning. Um, it was a dark and stormy night. Um, in the beginning, I don't know. Uh, let's find some crossings. First of all, alphabet enter, ender. Z, unless you're British, or non-American even, then it's Z. Garden statue. Garden statue. A gnome? Unwanted breakout, acne, definitely. Uh, word before lion or monster? A word that can come before lion or monster. Um, okay, well, this is once upon a time, so we can just finish the puzzle. <laughs> once upon a time. Okay, 57 seconds. Let's look at the clues I didn't even look at. Um... Once upon a time, Z was correct. Gnome, acne, sea. Sea lion or sea monster. Got it. Okay. Uh, down here. Snack food brand, Utz. Uh, I may have heard of Utz, but I would never have come up with it. Uh, oh, and then 
O.P. Taylor, early role for Ron Howard. I don't know of O.P. Taylor. Okay, well, it's a good thing I figured out once upon a time. <laughs> cool. Not too bad today. Um, let me know if you thought of thought of Once Upon a Time without any crossings from the vertical. That would be neat. Um, I could I could definitely see plenty of people coming up with that. Let me know if you put Zed here. And uh, yeah, how'd you do? Let's do strands for March thirty first. Today's theme is it's lit. Okay. Um, what's lit? Like matches, lights, uh, things that are exciting. If we if we're doing going with the slang definition there. Um, let's look along the edges. That helped a lot yesterday. Rats are lit. No. Uh, stars are lit. Yes, they are. Okay, so things that produce light. Um, maybe illumination might be the spanogram. Uh, do I see that? I see ill. Okay, well, let's, let's think about other things. Fire produces light. Wait, okay, so fire something then, right? It's got to be. Fire fly? There we go. Okay. Uh, what else produces light? Like a bulb? Do we have bulb? Surprisingly... Oh, we do have bulb. Okay. Um, what else produces light? Um, my monitor. <laughs> Let's see. What, what else would they put that produces light? Um, is the spanogram over here or is it top to bottom? I guess is another question. I see lumen. But it would it would isolate this O N. But it's probably il oh illumination is here. Illumin wait. Illumin. Hold on. How what how am I doing this? Illuminome? <laughs> like I don't want to isolate these letters. It's over here though. Illumination. Okay. So what what is oh it's just Oh, it's neon. It's neon. I was like, what the heck? Um, okay, we got the spanogram illumination. We got all of the left side of it. So now we just need the right side of it. Um, angle? <laughs> oh, anglerfish. Anglerfish. And then lantern. They're lucky that it couldn't have also been lanternfish. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, let's finish this. Um... Cool, a uh, pretty straightforward one again. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if this was a struggle because it, it felt pretty straightforward. Just things that produce light. Lantern, I think anglerfish could have been an issue. And then also seeing fire, but not firefly could have been an issue. Um, maybe thinking something was supposed to go with bulb. But yeah, I mean, I think I did well. How'd you do?